media persons over there accompanied by the lawyers those visuals that we were bringing to you was uh, all uh, a packed courtroom as you can see uh, and that is perhaps one of the reasons one very crucial reason why after punawala's hearing will be taking place via video conferencing and he will not be uh, produced before the court in person uh, as you can see a lot of sloganeering happening by the lawyers themselves they are all demanding death for aftab as the chorus is only growing stronger let's quickly go across to anshul now anshul we can hear that chorus of lawyers demanding death for aftab lot of tension inside the courtroom uh, take us through what's happening so yes this is the this is the kind of anger that i was talking about that yes the uh, lawyers in fact who were inside the court inside the building of sakhet court i'll just try and show you in the visuals there is still uh, some sort of uh, movement that is happening over here because a lot of lawyers had left their had left all their jobs and were present in front of gate number uh, court number 3 where aftab was supposed to be present and the eye of that case uh, i of the aftab investigations comes out meets the judge and says that since there is so such a media frenzy and there is so much anger amongst the lawyers as well he is requesting them to allow aftab to be present in front of the court through a video conferencing and that is the reason why the judge has said that he understands the situation there could be a risk to his security and also it, it is going to be a very very difficult task for the delhi police if they actually try to get aftab inside the court rooms because yes the number of people who are present inside the inside the gates of that court is absolutely absolutely uh humongous and the kind of angles the kind of slogering that we saw uh, that that we saw just on our screen just a few minutes ago it actually says that the people on the ground the lawyers on the ground are actually very very angry because of the kind of brutal crime that it is and hence they decided hence uh, there could be a situation where aftab could be yeah. attacked by these lawyers or uh, attacked by the people who are present inside these courts and that is the reason why the judge said that he understand the entire situation and he is allowing this time for aftab to be present in front of the court through a virtual conferencing so that he does not have to be brought to the court room physically now absolutely anshul also important to talk about how crucial is today's hearing as far as the entire investigations are concerned because not only is the police going to uh, demand an extension for remand but also uh, going to seek permission for a narco and psychoanalysis test Uh, so yes the hearing today is very very crucial because remember over the last 5 days since the delhi police has gotten that police cust police custody of aftab uh, they have been tracking many of the statements that he has made they are trying to build an entire case around the statements he, ha he has made and that is the reason why the delhi police is going to ask for an extension of his police custody so that more details could come out from the uh, from the investigation that is going on more statements could be recorded for uh, from aftab and those statements could eventually be corroborated with evidences on ground and this is the main motive of the delhi police as of now to make sure that whatever statements that he has put out that should be uh, that should actually be corroborated with evidence if that is not if that does not happen then the delhi police is not will not be able to uh, frame a charge sheet or maybe will be able to uh, frame per se a case a tight case in this matter so that aftab could be punished also the uh, the permission for narco analysis test becomes very very crucial in this entire case because although the narco analysis test could not be present as an evidence in front of the courts but yes this is going to give a very very clear idea to the delhi police as to what is aftab thinking right now because he has been changing his statements with each passing day some sometimes he he says that uh, shraddha shraddha left from his re residence on the 22nd of may but yes there are transactions that happened on the 26th of may there are phone records that uh, that has uh, in fact the location of the phone last traced in delhi was in the in that flat as well itself so yes it becomes very very crucial for the delhi police to make sure that whatever aftab has been saying that is true at some point in the uh, or the other yes that that could not be presented in front of the court as uh, as a uh, evidence but yes that is going to give a very very good headway to the delhi police has to give give them a direction in which direction they should go further to in further taking that in investigation so yes it becomes very right. very crucial for right. the delhi police this narco analysis test and this psycho analysis test in this entire case it remains to be seen if the court is going to give them permission and if aftab agrees to do that narco analysis test because without the permission of the accused a narco analysis test is not possible and hence the permission from aftab to carry out a narco analysis test on him is also very very crucial in this entire case
Absolutely, Anshul. I'm going to request you to stay there, gather more information for us as I come back to you after I've taken my next question from Akash. Akash, you heard what Anshul had to say. We, we, we are right now discussing how significant is going to be the role of the narco and psychoanalysis test. Knowing that this is only going to act as supportive evidence, it's important to talk about how there have been a string of lies being presented by Aftar Poonawala, especially uh, as far as the timeline of May is concerned. Remember, this is a man we are talking about who first claimed that he had a fight with Shraddha on 22nd of May and had nothing to do with her, whereas there was evidence to corroborate the fact that he not only operated uh, Shraddha's Instagram account in the month of May, but also made a bank transfer in the month of May. Akanksha, I could not hear uh, the question because of some disturbance in the That's line. That's all right. I, uh, I was coming. Yeah, case. I was no, just sir. coming uh, to.